What's up everybody? This is JT. Um, I wanted to make a tutorial on how to make a countdown specifically for churches because um, I've always wanted to do it in Final Cut Pro and I figured out a way to do it and I'm going to share it with you guys. So let's get down to business. So the first thing you want to do is create a project and I created one already. I call it tutorial for countdown, right? And now what you need to do is go over here to where the titles and generators are open up the generators folders and go down to elements and there's a time code generator here so you put that on the timeline and i don't usually mess with these settings i just leave it the way it is and just hit ok and you can stretch this out to five minutes or however long you want your account down to be if it is five minutes i like to make it five minutes in a second so i can have a fade in and a fade out and i'll show you about that later but anyway <clears throat> now here's the thing that i wish i would have known when i originally exported this video is up here in the top right corner you can change oh let me go to all right right here you could change the format from hours minutes seconds and frames to hours minutes and seconds now you don't really notice the difference down here this is still you'll still see the frames but this is the seconds right here this is the minutes and that's going to be the hours but let's play with it a little more and what you do is you highlight it and you can put the time code wherever you want it right let's say if you want it in the center um you can make the size larger or whatever you need to do with it as far as that's concerned and I'm gonna put it to about right there but I like to keep it in the bottom right corner because like for churches I mean you know it's cool to see the time and maybe you want to make it a little bigger you can if you'd like but see how much it takes up right here I don't know how to cut off that or you know the hours in the front i haven't learned how to mask it but if you figure it out let me know that'd be cool but anyway i'm gonna pull that back down a little bit for the sake of the video all right so there it is so you have a countdown or a count up all right so now what we want to do is go here to the time uh choose clip retiming options and but see reverse clip is grayed out that's because it's not a video clip but all the other options work it's like dang man what what the heck how, how can you get around that well there is a workaround first thing you, you need to do is export this first as a clip so you go up to the export options and then whatever you format you want to export it as i just use apple devices and blah 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 all right i've already done it so let's go back here and this is my clip and it's already five minutes so you don't have to change anything now when you highlight it watch all right see how it's counting up you go to the timing options highlight it first then now you can reverse the clip. Now I would have played backwards. <sighs> to me, I was just like, yes, cool. But what if I want to do more? So like I said, I go to Next Level Church. I'm going to grab my church's logo. And I can st uh, stretch this the whole five minutes. That's it. Put some music on it. That's it. That's a wrap. Nah. You're a visual arts create tour so let me show you what you can do I'll back that off some just pull it to about right here and I have a track from Francesca Battistelli if we're honest I like that song it's a really really good song and another one by her is called keeping score that's a great song too but it's longer than five minutes so what we can do is trim the audio back grab the fade doohickey right here and and let it fade out all right, so let me see. His love is big enough to move any mountain. Cool. All right. Well, actually, I may want to fade that a little bit more. 
All right, so let's go back. Now you can add like video clips as well. So let's, I mean, I made this video. This was something I was playing around with, was learning. Um, <clears throat> right? And, you know, trim it back a little bit. I'm just showing you for the sake of the video, you can use video clips. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. Harder than a lie. The dark sea. Did you see what happened? The time code went away. That's because this video clip, what you'll need to do is highlight the clip, come up here to your blending modes, and change your blending mode to add. Then you'll be able to see the clip. Being safer than the lie. Yo, big shots out to my man, Sean Devine. Now, remember you got to take the, the audio off so we'll detach the audio highlight it delete it and there you go one has a heart that loves to hide all right so let's say you want to you, you know how a lot of times people have like the splash videos with like bokeh effect and all other kind of th I mean well it's generated things you could go back to your generators go to backgrounds and let's say you want to use bubbles you can right so well uh, here let me expand that a little bit get kind of close and I hit um, command and the plus sign to get the timeline to stretch like that and so are you we've built walls nobody can get through yeah you can add bubbles and they do have another generator that I think that's really cool. I mean, I think it'll look tight. Like if you want to put like, uh, it's called Glimmer, but it looks like Boca for the photography nuts out there. No, nope, don't want that. All right. So what we're going to do is put this down here on the timeline and watch. Ever do, ever do. Well, what what happened to the time code uh see it's like it's the glimmer is like a video clip so same thing you just come over to the uh blending mode and change it to add and then it comes back All right. so now i mean if you want to add like titles you can you know just to be in a dark mode but um but let's just say you did want to add a title. You can. Oh, I want the caps. All right. So we can go back. Honest. Don't pretend to be something that you're not. Let but what if I wanted that on top of the bulk? I mean, the bubbles. Can that happen? The other side. It sure can. If we're honest. So the possibilities are endless. Like I said, I've been searching YouTube and this was the quickest way that I could come up with something. And I mean, I saw a tutorial probably about maybe a year ago. A guy did something similar to this, uh, but it, it was a great tutorial and I figured there's a lot of people out there in Mac world that um, would like to make their own tutorials but this is something that you can do now you know it's basic and when I get more advanced I'll share it with you guys because other people taught me so I want to give back to the YouTube community and share with you so you guys have a great afternoon we'll see you on the next tutorial JT out